All right, so my mom called and said that she sold my comic books or something. I don't know. Let's go check it out. This is this is freaking crazy, dude. I just got off the phone to my mom, and she said she sold all of the comic books that I gave her. All of them. That is crazy, dude. I did not expect that. Let's go see what she has to say. Okay, so we're here with my mom who sold my comic books. It was actually a good thing, right? It was a very good thing. Everyone likes comics. <laughs> so I brought in about 60 books or so, and it sold pretty quickly, didn't it? It sold very good. The last guy come, and there was 30 left. He bought all 30. He at, loved it. At a dollar each, right? At a dollar each. So that means you need to bring us some more. Well, that's the plan. So okay. thanks, Mom. I appreciate it. Sounds good. All right, so I hope you guys liked that dramatization where I talked about where my mom sold some comic books. If you guys have been watching the channel recently, um, I dropped off an entire short box of comic books. These are all books. Um, I'm going to try to throw up a video of it right now. These are all books that I've had for quite some time. Um, a lot of books that I just don't frankly need. Um, a lot of books that are just dollar books, 50 cent books. And I was asking my parents who own a couple different Ace Hardware stores, if they'd be willing to sell some of the comic books that I have in my collection, because a lot of these books, I just don't have space for. Um, I don't really need them. Um, and I, what I like to do with that money, because I actually did end up making some money off of that, I made a 50% commission. So about there was about 60 books or so, and they sold at a dollar each. As you can see in the video, my mom talked about how the last person ended up buying all of the remaining 30 books uh, for a dollar each. And like I said, there was about 30 books or so. Um, so that's 60 bucks and we split the commission on that. She made 30, I made 30. It was a good deal for me. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it because like I said, uh, now I can use that money for something else like a CGC submission, uh, buying you know a variant, buying a bigger book, using that, that money to reinvest in my comic book collection. Because as you guys can see in this video, a lot of these books are just not worth really anything, whether it's just a dollar or 50 cents, but these are still great books for anyone to buy for their kids, uh, for themselves, or they just want something to read, or if they want to make their kid happy. Because I remember as a kid going to the comic book store, my parents said I could not get anything. And when they did buy me something, it was always out of the 50 cent bin or the 25 cent bin or whatever. So uh, I think my mom was pretty happy to get some books for free that she could make some money off of. And I was pretty happy as well to get rid of some of these books, make some room in the collection. And like I said, use that money to reinvest in my comic book collection. And I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I'm not going to lie. Uh, things are looking pretty good for me. Um, and so I'm happy. And, you know, I'm probably going to end up filling another short box of some books that I just don't need that are a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollar books, something I have no problem with selling for a dollar and splitting a commission, making 50 cents on each one of those books. So I'll probably end up doing that here in the next month or so and dropping off another 50 to 60 books, maybe even filling up an entire short box of around 100 to 150 bucks. I don't know. I mean, I, I need to make some more money um, to reinvest in a collection and I need to make some more space because as you guys can see in a lot of the videos, there is a ton of short boxes behind me. I think I have around 15 to 16 boxes of comic books. And that is just too many for my little collection in my little house. And so I definitely need to make some room, make a little bit of money to reinvest in a collection, use that money to buy a slab, use that money for a CDC submission or something else as well, like I talked about. So uh, I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Thanks everyone for watching. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about today's video. You guys think I did pretty good or do you guys think I did pretty bad? All that and more. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, go Cats, Cowabunga, Torkin' Time.